in the hot sauce today we're talking about the buzz about Williamsville as the leaves begin to change and school heads back to session. Williamsville is only ramping up its efforts to be to be an even better community. Now big changes are coming to the village as you can see residents got a chance to experience what a new pedestrian friendly village might feel like at their recent picture Main Street block party and we're joined today by Mayor Brian Culpa of Williamsville to talk some more about these new plans in the village and Brian First of all, welcome to the couch, Mr. Mayor. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you here. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> yes, as a Williams, as a Williams Viltonian myself, I'm like I said, <laughs> honored to be sitting on the couch with you. So tell us how the Picture Main Street party went a couple weeks ago. It seemed like it was a great time. Yeah, it was a huge success. We had a lot of people um, from our area come out and and enjoy the street, get to feel that sense of ownership for on the street that they would only normally get if you if you had the street closed. Mm -hmm. And it's a old fashioned block party style, right? Let the kids, let the parents feel like this is their their territory and their uh, their asphalt, if you will. Right. And so what what kinds of things are going to be happening now coming off the success of, you know, getting your message of creating a more pedestrian friendly village of Williamsville? Well, we've been out, um, we've submitted our state and federal grants, right? Those were some of the big funding apparatus and we have about uh, six to eight months of really getting our financing in place and doing all sort of the the boring work, if you will, of, of um, but the details that that need to happen. Um, and then we're hoping that next spring we can really start um, driving at some of the physical build outs. And some of those physical build outs we were discussing before could include things like curb extensions, so it's a little bit easier to cross the street, things like yep. that. Absolutely, the curb extension sort of the crux of the project. Mm -hmm. um, we want to make it a shorter travel distance for pedestrians to cross the road. We also want to give them better visuals down Main Street so they can see cars coming and cars can see them better. Great. It, is, it really can be difficult to cross. It's a four-lane highway Absolutely. in the middle of a historic, beautiful village with so much to do between all the restaurants and the shopping, salons, things like that. So it is. It, just being able to cross the street without waiting for 10 minutes, you know, <laughs> really could make a difference. In spite of all the volume, people are still coming out. We're right. still seeing a ton of people come out for like our, our music on Main yep. on Thursday nights. They're using our restaurants. They're using our restaurant patios. Um, we want to make it a little bit more accessible Even to easier. them. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and real quick that. while you're here, we're quickly running out of time, but no um, you're also the buzz in Williamsville today is about uh, the, the Williamsville th toll barrier on the thruway. Mm -hmm. 15 cents may not seem like a lot, but we're working to get it down to zero, right? Absolutely. Um, Congressman Higgins really kind of led things off um, yesterday with an announcement that he's, he's pushing the Thruway Authority to reduce or to eliminate the toll from transit to 290. Um, that's something Assemblyman Walter and Senator Rasenhofer have also looked at, looked for. Um, it's something that Barry Weinstein, the supervisor in town of Amherst, and, and myself are pushing. We want to see volume reductions on Main Street. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really what it comes down to. Help us divert traffic away from Main. Right, because it's not always about paying the 15 cent toll, but it's about all the traffic and congestion that goes along with it. Absolutely. We'll of course continue to keep following that story over on the News 4 side of things. Thanks so much for coming in today, no Mr. Problem. Mayor. No problem. Thank you. Now we're going to send it over to Emily Lenihan. With